You may be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Jones v. Joyner. Thank you, Ron. Good day, everyone. Good day, Ron. Ms. Jones, you claim the defendant is an ex-boyfriend who got you pregnant and now refuses to do anything for your eight-month-old daughter, Hazel. Yes. You and your mother petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that he is Hazel's father, so he will finally step up. Mr. Joyner, you say you are a responsible U.S. military veteran who would never neglect a call to duty and are 100% certain you are not her child's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Jones, what has Mr. Joyner done for your child? He has not done anything. Babies cost a lot of money and... I'm a single mother, and I can't do it on my own, and Hazel really needs, needs her dad in her life. He is her, her father. And he's been denying her since birth? Since, since I was pregnant with her. I've been trying to reach out to him. You know, um, I got doctor's appointments coming up. Do you want to come? I mean, he just has no interest, really, since I got pregnant with her at six weeks. You've done nothing for Hazel, Mr. Joyner? No, Your Honor, I haven't. Tell the court why. Honestly, I just, I don't feel like it's my baby. I don't feel like it's my baby. You don't Uh, feel? Or what what are your doubts? It's not my baby. It is is not my baby. I am a U.S. uh, veteran. I'm a military veteran. And I will take, I, I do take care of my responsibilities. Do you have other children? No, Your Honor, I do not. So you, just from the start, didn't believe it? No, Your Honor. Take me back to the nature of this relationship. Were you in committed relationship, dating, what? No, Your Honor. We were dating. We were dating. Your Honor, I would not say we was dating in any kind of serious relationship. Uh, I met her at the, our, our place where we worked at. It was a restaurant. And, I mean, hell, the first night I brought her home, Your Honor, I didn't even know her name. I mean, just to be honest. You say you're in a relationship, Ms. Jones. Yes. He says it wasn't yes. a relationship at all. He didn't even know your name. It was. The first night when I went by his house, his auntie, one of his family members, brought me home from work. And we chilled over here where he lives at. And it just, we talked for a long time, so it's not like he didn't know my name. I'm, we worked together. So, and then probably an hour and a half after that, we had intercourse. And so you didn't use protection? We didn't. How long did this relationship, sexual relationship, or whatever it was, go on? It started January 21st and ended probably like end of March. So, Mom, Miss Jones, did your daughter ever introduce you to Miss Joyner? Did you, yes, Mr. Ma'am. Joyner, did yes, you know did, anything y'all. about him? Yes, ma'am. I had, I was, I know the situation because she used to take my car and go over there and visit him and stay sometimes this night and everything with him. I even went over there to his residence, spent the weekend and everything with them, with my other grandson. So that's how I know he's denying it. He's lying, Your Honor. Yes, he is. Because I used to go pick him up from the restaurant, him and her, where they work together at and everything. Yes. Do you remember her picking you guys Your up? Honor, and... Your Honor, I'm not denying that we didn't see each other, but what we're here about is the baby. And I know for a fact that she was having sexual intercourse with at least two other people from no, our workplace. No, no, no. It wasn't two other people. Once we got serious, I cut all that off. And that was probably like, I give it take a three weeks after that. I cut everybody off to be with him. She was serious with him, Your Honor. Very serious. The, I'm talking about very serious. He met my grandparents, all my family, family, my friends. Everybody. I had really... I really had respected him. I said, Libby, it sounded like... looked like you got a good... a good man this time in your life. And, right. and I was respecting him. I was going over there to his home and I was cooking for him and cleaning up. We was doing all those things. We was all spending time with each other. Because like, we I've thought been, it was serious. Like, I've been with... Why her. are you spending time with her mother and... Her at your house and doing all that if it's just a sexual relationship yes. and you don't care anything about her. her. They pushed their way in on me, Your Honor. No, that's not true. You say this was just casual, it was nothing, but when a young woman's mother says, I'm over there cooking and cleaning and yeah. we going over there... He even was thanking me for when I was coming over there and stuff and cooking and stuff. He said, tell your mama, thank you, I appreciate it and stuff. And you thought you were over there with your daughter's boyfriend yes, and just ma'am. helping them out. Yes, ma'am. Yes. My, my, um, her grandmother and all of them, stuff like that, they was, they was liking him. They really was. If it wasn't serious, you know, why he was talking about him and her moving in together. together. He, her moving into yes. the, the place yes. that he When was did that happen? When they was with each other. Your Honor, when I met her, she was, she, 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 she was supposed to be moving to Texas in one week. She said, I'm moving to Texas with my boyfriend or baby daddy, whatever it was, in one week. 
So as far as I knew, I knew, I, I, in my mind, I was just going to, you know, do it or do it with her for a few days, and then she was going to be gone. But and did I ever sudden, leave? Did I ever leave? Exactly. She never, she never left. No, I was committed to you and only you. So I never asked her, hey, will you be with me? Will you be my girlfriend? You have like many that. a time. As far as I, I don't know. know if that was to get me out of my drawers or what, but you have many a times. But so what happened yeah. when you told him you were pregnant? I called him, and I was like, I got something to tell you. I'm at the hospital. He was like, don't tell me you're pregnant. I said, well, I'm pregnant. And, like, he just sat on the phone silent, and then he said, I'm gonna call you back, and he never called me back. And I'm just waiting for the phone to ring and no call back from Mr. Joyner. Like you I never said, called back? I had to take some time to think about it. Like I said, I was not the only one. I'm not a doctor or anything like that, but I know that, she's, that she was having sex in that time frame of which it could be me or it could have been the other guy. How do you know this? Because when she came to me and said she was pregnant, it might have been three weeks, maybe a month after I'd met her. How do you know she was even having sex with anybody else? Because we, it was everybody, everybody at the workplace knew. Even she was, and she everybody admit, at she the admit, workplace admit, knew she, that me and you were messing around too. Two, so, also. So but wait, Miss Jones, two. are you admitting what he says is true, that you were sleeping with other people when you first it started was, sleeping with him? It was one guy I was sleeping with, but I cut it off. Yeah, so then, then that substantiates his testimony. Yeah. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Why do you think she's claiming you're the father, then, if you say there's this other person and everybody knew it? Uh, he's a little boy and I'm a man. You know, I have my own place. Uh, she see, she's seen, I mean, she's seen what it, what it was, you know? And she's seen my means of, you know, what I had and it, the other guy, she was, you know, guy or two that she was sleeping with at the time, and she chose that she thought that I would be the best decision. Or we were That's together. Or we were dating. We were, we were in a serious we relationship. Was. We were serious. Like right. everything was about Mr. Joyner. When we were working together, er, Mr. Joyner, Miss Jones, everybody knew us. Messing around, everybody knew we was messing around. It wasn't no other person. We, we knew each other for maybe a, a a month after she, when she said she had gotten pregnant, Your Honor, I had just moved, I had just moved there from Virginia. 25 years old I am, and I've been having sex roughly 10, 11, 12 years. I've never gotten any female pregnant at all. Well, and then I moved down pregnant. there the first week I meet her. It only her, happens one time. The first That's week it. I one meet her. One time it can happen. So wait a minute, are you responsible or just lucky? Because do you use protection if you haven't sex no. these 11 years? To be honest with you, no. I well, that's irresponsible. No, I, you it, just it, told it. me you're a responsible yes. military yes. man. Yes. Now, I thank you for your service. I will say that. But if you're responsible, how are you having sex for 11 years and never using protection? Well, how, who's to say I'm irresponsible? Okay, yeah, I could have... I'm telling you, you are. <laughs> for 11 years having sex and you're not that using protection? Mean, I, I don't really? That means that I don't think that means I'm irresponsible. You don't? No. Well, not, look, I'd rather one. be I'm irresponsible than dead, because you could be I'm that, just, too, having I unprotected sex for 11 yeah. years. Okay. I could be. But I'm just the first one to admit it. I'm not, I'm not the first guy who admits... That, what? They don't what? They don't like to use a condom? So I don't like to use a condom. I'm not saying every time I had sex. But my point is this. What I mean is I was in a long... I was in long-term relationships, Your Honor. You know, so for, for a few wait, years but you're time. telling me you were not in a long-term relationship with her. You're telling me this was only a sexual relationship with her. Were you using protection with her? No. With Ms. Jones? No, I did not. M Mr. Joyner, actually, your mother's here in court. I'd like to hear from her. Ron, will you please escort her in? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, Ms. Joyner. Thank you, you so much for joining us today. No problem. You know, we're here discussing baby Hazel. Yes, ma'am. Her paternity. And Ms. Jones asserts that your son, Mr. Joyner, mm -hmm. is her biological father. Do you believe that? I do. You do? I do. Yes. Please. I absolutely do. Tell the court why. Thank you. Well, they brought her to see me when she was two days old. Um, Olivia, I didn't find out until two weeks before that she was pregnant. When you so your son never baby, told you? Never. No. Never. You know, you just know. I have a grandmother's ring I got in April. It has Hazel's name and birthstone right with the rest of my grandkids. Mm -hmm. I absolutely believe 100% that she is his. And what makes you believe so strongly? As a mother, you just know. You just know. And to me, she looks like him. Yes. Your Honor, I have this to say. Not too long ago, a couple years ago, in, in, in West Virginia, where I, where I moved from, 
there was another situation just similar to this one right here. A uh, girl said that she had a baby, you know, it was mine, all this. And I mean, this baby looked identical to me, identical. I thought so myself. I got attached to this baby and the test results came in and it was negative. And, my, you know, my mother was, you know, bringing the baby around and he thought so too, thought so herself, 100%. Everybody thought so, 100%. That's why, you know, I, the situation has happened before and that's... that's so you've been through this, yeah. and it did not and turn was, out in your favor. It didn't turn out to be even you thought. You thought I this particular thought, child I, it was looked yours. Exactly like looked me. just like him. Just three like years me. old. Yeah. So why do you believe your mother is saying that she truly believes Miss Jones's child, baby Hazel, is your biological child? Why do you think your mother's saying that? I, I don't know. Maybe just deep down, she really she's ready for me to have a kid. <laughs> I mean, she, Hell she's no. ready for You're me. not responsible to have a baby. You know I mean? <laughs> you, my, no. My little, my, no. My little brother, he has two of them, and I don't have any yet. It, it has nothing to do with that, because he ain't got his crap together either. Neither one, I mean, they, they're both young, I get it, but they're not responsible. Not responsible. Needs to grow up, and denying it is not going to help. You missing every day that you don't. Yes. And it sounds like your mother has stepped up in your absence thus far, because she is eight months old. I was helping uh, Olivia from day one. I have been there and bought that baby diapers, clothes, formula from day one when neither one of them would. Mm -hmm. first, I uh, was buying things for Hazen when nobody was. When, when all I had was. was my mom. Excuse me, y'all. When I was yes. pregnant, where was y'all? Where was the joiner family? When did I find out, sweetheart? I can't, bl I can't do the rest of it. Well, you I'm sorry that your son didn't, didn't tell you that I was and pregnant. I all right, up Let, let's, let's get some order because I, I want to understand what's going on. I just want to test. I just want to test to prove it because of the situation that's happened before in the past. But, but who could you blame wouldn't it? pay for it. You wouldn't pay for it. A man would have paid for it. Seven hundred dollars. Just say sorry. No, that's what that's, you're here to I do. I mean, that's what you're here to that's, do. That's is the to... facts. I agree. I mean, when you when you say in open court that you are a responsible military veteran, and you said. She saw you from a mile away because of the way you live and what you have, and you have a home and you have this. If you say, I'd like to have a paternity test, if you know she doesn't have the means and the answer is important to you and there's a baby on the line that could potentially be yours, why not just say, I'm going to pay for it. I'd like you to bring Hazel and let's get this done. Why, why didn't you get the test done if you have the means and you are so responsible? Well, I mean, just because I have the means don't mean I have $700 to just go. I mean, what if it wasn't mine? Then that's all she had to do was go to just, I, I told her, file, to go through the state and all this, you know, all this could have been done buku long ago. When Hazel was born, I was on the internet. And I was, I, I was I, keeping Hazel while she was working at night. She has another child. So she is trying. She is a single mother. She is young. She don't know. He's a little older, should have enough sense to do it. So, Ms. Jones, was it unprotected sex with the uh, other person or protected? It was protected. Uh, condoms are only 99%, not 100%. <laughs> not 100%. Now and I'm pretty facts. sure they didn't, it didn't break. I'm sure of that. Protection or not, she just admitted to having sex with another guy in that time frame. So how for her to pinpoint me and say, you're the father. My I, I mean, I, was, I just want to know how she come up with that. Uh, or maybe it's because I had a place. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's because so, I'm a so, military man. Well, she says when she met you, she cut the other guy off and was Le only Le sleeping with you. Yes. So yes. if the child was conceived in a window of time when she was only sleeping with you, then you're the only possible right. father. I am 100% positive. I am but you're the, the only one, one I would in have that window, with. In that window, when she said, I'm pregnant, when you go take it back to when she could have gotten pregnant in that window, I was not the only one. My contraception date was February 4th when I went to the doctor and it points straight to you. That's how I knew who it was, hands down. Well, I think the only way to move forward is to get the results. Yes, yeah, let's get them. them. Uh, Ron, the envelope, please. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Jones versus Joyner, when it comes to eight-month-old Hazel Jones, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Joyner, you 
are the father. Yes. <laughs> I see tears in your eyes. You looking at your baby? What do you feel? Man up to her now. What do you feel? She's beautiful. She is. She's a doll baby. What do you feel, Mr. Joyner? She's beautiful. I'm sorry for denying her. And I will say this, Mr. Joyner, you've lost some time. And I can see from your reaction, you know, you worked yourself up to believe there was no way she could be yours. And you know what? I understood why. Because you had been in a situation where you bought in, you believed it, you even felt it, and then it wasn't. And you probably were in some ways protecting yourself. It was almost probably a defense mechanism. Like, I'm just not buying in until I know. Yes, Your Honor. And that's why it's important to get the answer as fast as possible. Because now, she's just eight months old. The beauty of this is, she's so young, she won't have to remember mm -hmm. this. You can step in now and really get in there and be the kind of father that she needs. Yes. Can you do that? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. We have counseling and resources for you all to help you get together. You gotta learn how to co-parent. You gotta learn how to blend. But isn't she worth it? Yes, she Beautiful is. Beautiful little she girl. Is. She's worth it, right? Okay. I wish you all the very best of luck. We have counseling and resources for you. Please take advantage of them. Court is adjourned. Thank you.